What's good? This is Marcus DeFingas with Audio Plugin Deals. Another review for you. Before we get into that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Audio Plugin Deals to stay abreast. There's a word for you of uh, plugin deals that we have coming this year. Um, again, be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube page. Um, we are talking about the Protagon Horizon or Protogen, I'm pretty sure it's Protagon Horizon from Sick Noise. It's an incredible plugin for industrial type sounds, for trailer music, for cinematic things, um, and really aggressive sounds that you're looking for. We're going to get right into it. You see the plugin here. Um, you load it up in Contact. It is a contact instrument. You load it up in there and you have all these different instruments. You have bass, you have clap, snare, effects, you have deep atmos, distorted kick snares and claps, downers, kicks, pads, risers, and synths. I'm going to play a little bit of each instrument starting with the bass here. And also when you go into those different instruments um, in the folders there, you have multiple instruments within the folders themselves. So for example, we have 10 bass instruments in the bass folder. Uh, you also have the separate samples if you just wanna use those samples and import those samples into like a uh, sample uh, player that you have. So I'm just gonna play bass one. Just off the break, um, really just sounds uh, like a great bass. Uh, let me play this bass two. I'm not going to play all of them, but you see, you hear how they sound, the industrial sound I was talking about. Um, another great one. I'll play one more here. That one's aggressive. Let's go to, let's just go to one. Um, and maybe I'll do something with that a little bit later. Next, we have the um, clap, snare, effects, and impacts. And that is just one instrument in there, but you also have the samples. And we have all of these samples all, uh, laid out on these keys here. So let me play some of those for you. Um, and a little bit of the plugin itself, you have some sound control, you have ADSR here at the bottom, you have pitch, semitones, pan and volume controls up top. Um, that's where you can change the tone, uh, the volume, and whether it's left or right, pan is left or right. Um, the pitch and the semi have uh, to do with the tonation of the sound itself. Then you also have on the right a filter, you have a cutoff filter, resonant filter, you have gain, you have uh, the filter uh, graph here, you can change the filter here. You have high pass filters in there, band pass, phaser. So you can get really, really gr uh, granular with the sound design. Um, that you have there and then we also have an LFO so you can change the rate the depth you can look at the wave there for the LFO you can change this to sine triangle pulse ramp up ramp down and random and then you have master volume control you see the waveform of the actual sound the sample right there and the waveform view here and then on the left you have voice detune and spread so you can spread it a little bit wider um, up top here you have the home and then you have more effects you can dive into the reverb you can dive into the delay you can dive into flanger phase and distortion so you don't have to uh, install any other plugins on your channel strip here you can it's all built into the protagon horizon interface if you just want to use the built-in effects it's a pretty pretty powerful plugin for sound design and things like that so that was some of the um, clap snare effects and impact we're going to go to deep atmos so again as you see deep atmos is only one sound and that's uh these couple of sounds loaded on these samples here we're going to play let me get to the right octave And that sample is actually really long, so you can, if you want, you can hold it out or you can just play the parts that you want. Really great for sound design. And I really like how it's uh, left and right. Let me add some, uh, let's add some delay to this. And to do that, we're going to turn the power on right here. Um, as you see, when it's off, it just says PWER. When you turn it on, it says power. And then you can... Crank up the time, crank out the feedback. You start hearing some of that come in. You want to turn on some reverb. So you can get really nasty with the sounds. kind of trippy <laughs> um so next we have the distorted kick snares uh and claps again um one uh sound one library on there Uh, 
um, and then we have downers. For those who don't know, downers are really used in sound effects uh, and trailer music and movies and things like that. You have long downers and short downers. Here are just some of the long ones. Really glitchy. Here's another one. And then here are some of the short downers. We'll play a couple of those. And if you don't like the pitch, again, you can go over here to pitch. And you can tune them down or tune them up. So if you're trying to create some laser sounds for some video game sound effects, um, just out the break using just some minor controls in there, you can create sound design for sounds and apps, video games and things like that. Um, next we have kicks. We're gonna go to kicks. And again, uh, we have a couple of libraries here. We'll go to kick two. So I really like it, punchy 808. We'll play kick five. Uh, then we'll play some pads. So pads are, um, as you can imagine, pad sounds. Um, let me play, but these are played out as a sample. So they're not chords that you would play on a pad sound. So if you hold that out, you'll you'll have a thing play, a sequence play. We'll go to pad 12. Really like an atmosphere. It already has reverb, reverb going there. We're going to turn up some delay. Some flanger. So you start getting to like space sound effects there. We'll play one more pad there. We'll go to pad 19. Uh, we'll replace... Um, yeah, that one sounds fun. And then we have risers. So risers are the opposite of downers. Instead of going down, they go up. So we're going to play a couple of those risers. Um, we also have long and short risers. Here are some long ones. Again, let's change the pitch. Maybe you can change it to a sound. It sounds like some animal or, or beast. So that was the long risers. And then finally, uh, you'd also have some short risers there. Uh, finally, we'll go to synths. Uh, we have a couple of synths in here. We have 20, I believe. Um, this is synth 11. I'm just gonna let that play. Um, really great for like lead. You wanna do some soloing type things. Um, that was synth 11. We'll play synth 15. Uh, we'll go to synth 19. Um, yeah, just some great, uh, really solo type things. If it's too low, uh, I would change the pitch up higher. Or um, if we take it back to uh, normal pitch, which I don't know exactly where it was, um, you can change the cutoff. So you can play with the cutoff frequency there, some resonance filters. The gain there, so you have a lot of control in there. Let me go back to, I think, was it the pads that I like that was going on with one of those sounds? Let's see if we can come up with a quick idea. So I, I don't want to make this video too long. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I like that. I'm going to just quantize that, keep that where it is. We're going to duplicate that a couple of times and we're going to make make something out of nothing hopefully um not nothing these sounds are great we're gonna make something let's go to claps let's go with that I 
I like that. Nothing too crazy going on there. Uh, we're going to duplicate that. Let's layer that kick. Let's see if we can come up with some fun thing with the kick here. Let's go to a downer. Maybe we'll throw us a downer at the end. I'm adjusting the pitch here. I like that. What can we do with that? Let's go to effects. Maybe we'll throw some flanger. Some this. I don't like the distortion. Let's go with that towards the end of this thing. Turn that up a little bit. We'll go to the Atmos thing. Let's get something going with the Atmos here. Maybe use it as like uh, some type of fun percussion. I like that. Just using it as some percussion. Maybe I'll take off some of the reverb there um, just because there is a lot uh, of other stuff going on. Um, and we'll duplicate that. Uh, we'll quantize that. Something like that. And let's bring in some of these claps. I'm just using these uh, Rotogon Horizon by Sick Noise Sounds to build, come up with an idea. Maybe this could be a cue for a movie or a scene or something in a TV show. There we go. And just like that, you have an idea going. Let's go to bass here. And maybe I'll take off some of that reverb here also. Let's see what distortion does. Maybe I want some of that aggression going on uh, in the bass sound. Two more to go, then I will let you go. We have risers. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Again, more like ambient sound design. So I'm actually, I don't know what I'm listening for when I'm listening for this, but I hear a little bit of a rhythm in there. So I might play with that one. Bring a little bit of delay in there. Some of the flanger.
again, just having fun with these. You might not be able to hear that because there's a lot of uh, sound stuff going on. We're going to bring that to the second half of that. And then what we'll do is um, we'll come up with something on the synth here. I changed the tune. Let's see. I think that's a note. So I can change the t attack here and then I can create sort of like a pumping effect. I could do like a side chain with a kick or something or or, or side chain um, compression, but I can have it like that using the attack button just to use that as sort of like a built-in pumping thing. Um, yeah, that's just a bit. Let's play that back. So how do you make sense of all of that going on? Let's, um, let's curate it a little bit. We're going to take out some of these things that's going on. Let's just listen to some of the sounds. And I'm probably blowing your ears away. We'll turn all this down a little bit. We'll crank that down there. So how do you, if you wanted to do something musical with it, let's bring in, um, uh, let's see if we can make sense of this with bringing in just a piano thing. Uh, and I'll make something up top. Uh, here we go. Sort of makes sense, sort of not, but uh, I would probably use a different piano sound. We're gonna go we're gonna go all the way here we're gonna create a drum pattern just to hopefully glue it all together um, we're just gonna use one of these kits here there we go
yeah, that's the vibe. So see, you can create just an, you can use it, uh, the Protagon Horizon from Sick Noise as a starting point just to get you going. Uh, let me make sure I can give you the right price for this thing. <laughs> So yeah, so there you go. That can get you going. You can use Protagon Horizon, Protagon Horizon from Sick Noise to get an idea going, to get some vibes going. You can layer whatever other sounds on top of that uh, to keep it moving. So you can use it for your uh, commercial trailer stuff if you're doing trailer music, if you're doing sound design for films or video games, um, if you're doing uh, corporate videos and you have like industrial aggressive sound you're trying to do, or if you're just working on like pop, hip hop, R&B, rock, any of that stuff, industrial, metal, it'd be great for EDM. Um, so this can really be used in different contexts even for ambient, if you add some reverb and stuff to the um, uh, effects that are built in, use the effects that are built in to add some reverb to the sounds and the samples that are there. Let me make sure I have the right price. You can get this on a deal from Audio Plugin Deals for $27 and... 50 cents. So make sure you have that 27.50. It is normally $110. So that is a huge saving. Um 75% off, I believe. So from $110 to just under 30, you can get it for 27.50 as part of this great deal. Check out Protagon Horizon. Let me bring up the plugin one more time for you. Um contact instrument Protagon Horizon from Sick Noise. Shout out to Sick Noise for making this dope instrument. Again, it's a very very great instrument that you can use in different contexts. The sound uh the design of the plugin itself is incredible. I really like the, the moving um, wheel here. I like the smoke in the background. Um, if I had a smoke machine in here, it would just add to this whole vibe that's going on. But shout out to Sick Noise. Definitely check it out. Again, $27.50. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this page uh, to stay abreast of upcoming deals from us here at Audio Plugin Deals. Be safe and be well, everyone. All right? All right. Peace.